welcome back to my channel and I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone. So guess what I got from the Australian Post? I got my new passport. Yay! So just to recap, I went to Canberra last year, well, November, to apply for my passport and also to do my oath taking. So actually, guys, um, it was actually not that long because I was expecting my new passport to be here in the second week of January. But luckily, I was like shocked that I got it. I got it like for like six weeks only. I think there's not a lot of people um, applying for it. And I think this one was like made 2nd of December 2020. And then I got it in about six weeks. That's actually really quick. So this is my old passport and this is my new passport. I wonder what's the difference. Um, I think the difference is the old one's five years and will expire in five years and this one will expire in 10 years. So for the old one, I think, oh, so this is the first page and for the new one, this is the first page, which is really, really good. It has the Fini Philippine, Philippine um, eagle. And then I think, so yeah, this is my passport, my ugly photo right there um in here i think it's the national anthem actually guys it says the perlas ng silanganan alab ng puso sa dibdib mo yung bughaw wow that's really nice at least the philippine passport is improving right and then the last page there's the turtle there i really like it so my next step now is to apply for an Australian license. I'm actually lucky because I have a Filipino license and I just have to convert it to an Australian license. This is actually expiring on the 28th of June, which is my birthday this year. So I have to finish my lessons and my board. So I'm going to do the board pathway. I'm going to do foreign conversion since I have my license, which is really easier and I'm lucky that just in case as well that I'm not going to pass the board, I can, I think, take the exam three to four days after. So yeah, that's um, going to be one of my challenge this year. I'm going to get my Australian license so I'll be able to drive and go wherever I want. So wish me luck guys and please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm going to post my driving lessons video soon. Chris is going to be my driving instructor and I'm actually lucky because I don't have to pay. Because driving teachers, I mean driving instructors are very expensive here in Australia.